let's get to um well yeah primitive okay so leaving skate mental left skate mental how was that leaving yeah okay you gotta call brad. brad so yeah i mean brad what was it was, what was the all, decision behind that i'll, Why? T- I'll tell you first yeah. of all brad had been really um really good throughout this whole thing when i when i was am he just gave me boards when i turned pro let everything happen mm-hmm. like not even his necessary it's his company he's not necessarily in the barracks or caring about anything like that like right i mean i don't really go there too much anymore just just kind of grew out of doing stuff like that sure. but but um yeah he just let me be he just let me do what i was doing it was always cool like in this period of time where things weren't the greatest or mm-hmm. whatever he was fine he never said a thing he was just always cool you know yeah and he just um, let things go. He just let everything ride out smooth, and we just did what we did. Right. So he was awesome the whole time. And then after that, after that video part, it was more just, for me, a personal thing. So this is 2015, mm-hmm. and that's when I found I, I was having a child, you know? Okay. So I decided thinking life-wise, um, and at this point, I'm in great headspace. Everything's cool. Like, Perfect. I, I've, I feel like I've figured shit out. You always never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've figured shit out. So, you know, I find that. I'm like, i got to figure out what I'm doing here, mm-hmm. like what I'm really doing here. Like, I'm, I'm on Nike. Everything's great. Things going good there. Yeah. On all Spitfire Thunder, like, which have been great to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and with Skate Mental, it was like, everything's cool, but there's not a huge team doing anything. And it was somewhere that I thought... Um, could make change for me, you know. Gotcha. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, there was no anything terrible, but it was like Paul had this this primitive stuff going on, and and I had a few friends. This is the the main thing that made this happen. I mm-hmm. had a few friends at the time who needed jobs and needed uh, not needed jobs, but like were qualified for things if we considered something. Sure. And and, uh, and a couple of skaters that wanted to do something, so I was like, okay. I'm gonna do it then. Okay. Like I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I think with skate mental, our time is kind of run out. You know, we've mm-hmm. just done what we're done, and and I just need to change. It's yeah, not, it's not like anything bad happened or whatever. And meanwhile, P Rod's built this yeah insane yeah, team yeah, and, and I mean, program well, over there. It was still yeah. He went from yeah shop the, the way primitive yeah. it was amazing how that happened for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was going to. That's a weird topic. But so I was going to uh, potentially start a company at this point in time. Okay. And I was talking with Paul and we were maybe going to do it within Primitive. Mm -hmm. And I had another skater who I was paying my own money, which was Diego. Oh, okay. Um, And the Diego situation, like Felix had helped him a lot with his, like just getting him, getting him out there. Right. And he was on ammo and famous and stuff and -hmm. and everything was, you know, going there. Um, But I think Diego just wanted to change too. and And so... I was friends with him and I talked to him and, you know, we were going to do something. He, I was like, basically, hey, I'm going to figure this out. I'll pay you monthly. It didn't happen for long at all hmm. until um, I figured this out. And then it was either going to be a board company, which didn't work out. It made a lot more sense to, to ride for Primitive and, and they were, you know, giving me equity. And, right. And um, it just made a lot more sense in what was promised at the time or like what what the plans were with with these other friends that i had like jobs and stuff okay it it just made perfect sense to do that with primitive it wasn't the team it is now with a lot more skaters there's a lot of people on yeah um which is good but Mm -hmm. it's uh yeah so it was just different so i did it and it was cool and i put my effort into it you know did the the video did all that stuff you know um dasha gave me a cover which is awesome like i didn't even think that was possible you know? okay there's a switch for back nose bun in, in china that's oh, right yeah. yeah and you brought diego yeah. with you to primitive yeah i mean well paul yeah i brought diego i was like hey my requests were a i want to work with certain people mm-hmm. and b um you got to put diego on as well right because yeah there was a time though when when you didn't know whether you can do your own company and primitive. Yeah, you were filming him at this time. I, I was skating with a bunch that's when he had that crazy knowledge right yeah, yeah, yeah. that intense there but he i remember him be like dude do I ride for Shane O'Neill's company? I ride for Paul Rodriguez's company. I was like, fuck, that's quite a, hard a dilemma. Yeah. 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 Seriously. <laughs> He's like, well, I don't know what to do. And then like that, so happy that it worked out that way where you guys yeah. all went together. Yeah. So, so Paul, um, obviously liked Diego skating a lot. Yeah. I think with him, it was more just kind of, um, yeah, he, he has a, he knew Felix a lot better. I don't know. I don't even know. He didn't how, want to I steal. Yeah. I don't even know how that went, went about, but, 
but me and Diego, Diego and I talking wasn't like that. It was nothing to do with like, hey, like come off the ammo and stuff. Like, it wasn't like that. It was right. just like, hey, I need to do something. Like, yeah, let's. You, we and then all... and then it worked out perfectly, and that's what happened. Um, and it was some good. It was a couple years that mm-hmm. I rode for yep. Primitive and, yep. and was a part of it. But uh, yeah, we did some videos, did some crazy tours. You know, Primitive is a huge company, and and it's doing good, and and everything's cool. It's just uh, the reason that ended was because i have had again like i had before a lot of friends that are really talented people that that i really need to do stuff with that's just how i've always felt in life like i want to do stuff with these people that's why the filmers have always been the same this Mm -hmm. whole time they've been great friends to me this whole time i've helped them as much as i can this whole time um it's just important to me that this is able to happen a few things happen you know that i don't really want to talk about Mm -hmm. because it's whatever business but, yeah, and just whatever. some business shit yeah. happen it's more just like yeah it, yeah it didn't make sense for me to be on something like that for what was happening it just didn't make any sense and i'm like dude i have all these other skaters that want to do stuff and we can't do it here so i almost was going to do the company with primitive and it didn't work yeah, yeah. i was going to say yeah it didn't work i don't yeah. know why huh. it didn't work okay yeah. how was the discussion with paul though you know, I mean, you you guys have been boys for discussion forever. with Paul was um, hard because you know I was so excited to do this whole primitive thing and to be a part of it and yeah. and and give my two cents and and skate. Mm-hmm. And Plus, go. you own a little bit of it too, which yeah, is great. I did. As well, I did. Yeah. You know? um, it's cool. It, it was cool. You know, but I also I learned a lot from that because ownership is cool, but depends on what the plans are. True. Depends on what the plans are. And True. I didn't really think that out. And I was also told a little bit different. Oh, okay. Nothing crazy. Nothing. No, there's no bad feelings. Everything's cool. Right. They have their percentage now. I didn't take it. It wasn't like. Oh, you gave like your percentage of back course, to them. Of course, yeah. It was just like, hey, Paul, like, I'm, I need to do this. I tried to do it with you guys, but it's not working it's out trouble. because of certain people or gotcha. whatever. Okay. It's not working out. Um, so, yeah, it, it wasn't. And he, and he has, he's done this shit himself. Right. He's a he result knows. of this. He knows you know, and he understands. And I wish it was different. You know, yeah, I wish yeah. it would have been able to either work out in some other way or, but moving forward to right now, I um, t- couldn't be happier. Right. Absolutely couldn't, could not be happier. Yeah. So April, right. Is that your daughter's name? No. No. <laughs> no. A lot of people ask me that. Yeah. My daughter's that's what name's name's Why April? Okay. Well, backstory on that. Sure. Backstory. So yeah. Chris Middlebrook, basically my dad, filmer. Um, worked at Nike for a long time. Okay. Great. One of my best friends for sure. Yeah. Um, he, about a year ago, stopped working at Nike. So this is 15 years or something or okay. a little less of working for Nike. Mm-hmm. He doesn't work there anymore. So I'm instantly like, damn, I need to work this out with him. I need to be doing this. He's only worked at Nike and I've only been there. And it's like, you know, so he's working out what to do. Um, and in this period before he was even, uh, before, before he even left Nike or before what happened happened with Nike, uh-huh. he, uh, which is all good. But, yeah, yeah. But um, he wanted to an Australian board company. He had a few names in mind. April was one of them. Okay. And it was just, this was just him at this point in time. Yeah. A- April was one of them. He had a few different names. Um, and then he wasn't able to do it just because he was like also a brand manager for Nike. It's like you can't do that. You know, gotcha. you can't like be. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Com- conflict of You're interest. You're double dipping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole thing. But he was just trying to do it in Australia. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. So fast forward, he doesn't work at Nike. Um, I'm talking to him and I'm like, Primitive's the only area of, similar when I did the skate mental thing, it's the only area that could be improved and would be fine on both ends. Like fine for Primitive if I left mm-hmm. and fine for me, really good for me if okay, I left, you know? sure. So it was like, it, it, it definitely made sense and to do that with him. I could have tried to bring him into Primitive, but it wasn't a, there wasn't a way for that to work and he also wants to live in Australia and come back and forth. Right. So there, it wasn't possible. Mm-hmm. So then, you know, we talked about things and, and it started to really look promising and mm. certain things happened at Primitive nothing crazy again but it's just like i had to leave so okay yeah then we went for it and then basically yeah he had the name we were choosing we we're choosing names and i just liked that a lot and he had his reasoning for it he has his reasoning for it a not my daughter's name okay, <laughs> hey, okay. absolutely nothing to do with teenage mutant ninja turtles okay <laughs> <laughs> two things that i've been hearing a lot oh um, wow so i didn't even think about that one so he has his reasoning my reasoning is more just i really like the name it's an actual name yeah i like the way it looks mm-hmm. um and it's short it's sweet it just yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just really like it and he has his more probably 
intricate reasoning for okay. You know, but that's it, and um, uh-huh. and yeah, so we we. You know, I'm off primitive, starting yep. this, trying to figure out, like, who who do we want on the team? How do I want it to be? Like, do I want a mega team? Do I want all these? What is it? What what can it be? It could have been anything. Sure. could have been anything, for sure. I got a lot of people hitting us up about it, a lot of pros. A I lot bet, of, um, I bet. Just because they they know my approach to making videos, mm-hmm. make, you know, making sure stuff happens. I'm not, like, a flaky person. So, right, right. You know? I think that's why, maybe. Okay, yeah. And... and yeah, it's very flattering. But I did start it with with a lot of friends, and a, mm-hmm. you know, you look at Ish and Ronnie, and um, they were on a company that just wasn't doing anything with them. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to steal anyone from from people. You right. know, it was just more like they're not doing anything, and I love these kids. They're so sick, like they're skating sick. I want to put them on and and be able to make this so viable that their other sponsors really have to pay attention to them. Right. You know, and that's mm. the most important thing. Um, when I was young, like when I was on almost and all those things and for every other kid out there, all the companies do is just put them on flow and then that's it. Like mm-hmm. they put them on flow and then, yeah, maybe they'll get there. They'll turn and whatever. Right. But to me, when I see the potential, I would much rather, and maybe it's a different approach. I'd much rather take the potential that they have as good people and good skaters Mm -hmm. and just give them the quick opportunity give them the opportunity see how they go with it and if it doesn't go anywhere then at least i tried for them i didn't like i'm not it's not a company where i'm just going to be given no one's going to be on flow you know no one's gonna be on flow no one's on flow no no one Kelly, you said you were on flow. What happened? Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, know, put me, don't put me on blast, My dude. bad, my bad. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just I don't know. No, but, <laughs> but that's a great approach, okay. though. I like that because a lot of people get lost in the flow world and all that stuff. Yeah, and, and, it's, I, and, and, and with this time now, with all the Instagram stuff, yep. what are you waiting for? Right. Like, what's the company actually waiting for? Then maybe they don't have the budget, but it's like you're not really paying these kids a lot. They're just sure. I'm just giving them the opportunity to travel with me for these videos, make some stuff for us, mm-hmm. with us, yep. and see where they go. The, the potential is good, and also because I'm older or you know a little older, I have, um, and I'm super used to you know talking to people that work at companies and this and that. You know, example, Ronnie rides for whatever i'll talk to those people tell them what's going on give them information this is where we're right. taking it with them this is what we're doing you know yeah and, and if it's not working out if it doesn't work out for them at that company if the company's not interested then i will find something for them right i'll make wow. it happen for them yeah. I'm, I'm i'm interested in it like that i'm not just like hey like we have this kid like put him on you know i'm, I'm really trying to help them because it's what I got without anyone actually doing it. It's funny because I, I feel like there was a point in time as well where companies would do that for right. their riders. And I think that's kind of gone it's now. It's gone, yeah. You know, it, where it's like kind of like, hey, here you go. Here's a, here's a platform. Now go off and do everything yourself. Yeah. You know, and it's like, y- you kind of need support of from course, your yeah. board well, sponsors. It, it's kind of cool too, because you said you grew up like with Paul and yeah. Paul's introducing you to people. You're kind of doing the same thing, but a lot more for these kids. Mm-hmm. No, like, not necessarily. What Paul did back then was uh, equal to this. It's just a different time. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. like what Paul did showing me to those people or whatever, not meaning to, but, but that is the same as like, there wasn't that many skaters that there were, there was compared to maybe this True. the eighties, but yeah. now there's so many skaters and they're all so good. So for me and for all the companies, the bigger companies, they don't care about that. Yeah. You mm-hmm. have to show them that people back you. You're a nice, nice, cool person. It's, you know, yeah, it's so important. Now. What, it's not just skating. It goes a lot deeper than yeah. skating. I was just going to yeah. say like, what, what advice, lucky. what advice to kids would you give now? Like what? For, for coming up in skating. I mean, straight skate, number one, Street skate because you know, and I'm obviously a culprit of this, I guess. I, like the skate park shit, it's just it's just easy. It's just yeah. like what's easy. Oh, I need to post something. Go to a skate park. Do right. It. Um, it's not necessarily gonna get you. I don't know. It, it's it's a very hard one because you have the the contest skaters and then you have just traditional street skaters. But for those traditional street skaters that only film parts and don't really Instagram and stuff it's kind of gone now man yeah and it sucks because that's what i love and i love when those those kids come i'm like damn he's fucking insane you know so good i love that stuff but it's very hard to make make it work that way unless you're in a cool crew you know unless Mm. you got a cool click or yeah it's true yeah Yeah. as a single kid which is really what the question is like it's very it's very hard you just got to be cool and and skate 
like street skate. Film street a lot, skate, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess my advice would be street skate, go as hard as you can and just Instagram it. Just, yeah. just Instagram it. Just go hard on Instagram because... You never know who's watching If you that. film a whole part, yeah. you film a whole part, you put it out, some people watch it, whatever, and then it's gone. They don't mm-hmm. know what you were doing that whole time filming. If you're just filming and putting shit out, they're seeing the result and then and then you'll probably get on and then you can do that for them. True. But there's no point filming that crazy video part um, like constantly. I mean, obviously one or whatever. Yeah. But like constantly saving footage if you're not even on anything because this is what the companies do. They say, oh, look at all that footage. We'll put him on flow. Give us that footage. And they put it out. And then to get on properly, you're expected to do that again. Yeah. And then again. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, yeah. Well, right, as a pro, right. you're like, you kind of do it both ways. Well, you're like, it seems like you save for a video part and then you're also Instagram at the same time. I do all the all of the above. Yeah, you yeah. do everything. Because, and that's a pro, true pro skateboarder But right that's there. because, no, it's like, it, it is, but it's, Nothing's a true pro. See, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Know. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> it's, it's more just that I'm used to that, and I I like that. I like doing that shit. I have a skate park. I fucking put all my effort into getting that. Yeah. Um. I'm in the contest. I'm at demos. I'm on a lot of trip. It's very different because I'm naturally there, opposed to a skater that maybe doesn't have that support. Like they're not just not going to be everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just in everything when it comes to that shit. So. Yeah, and yeah, back to the contest stuff. If if it wasn't going so so well or anything, I probably wouldn't be there. You know. Yeah, yeah. true. I just probably you know post Instagrams, film, and, and seems like you have a nice balance though. Yeah, you know a, what you, you you know what you're going to film for your video part, and you you kind of know what you're going to put on Instagram. Million you know, percent, it's like yeah. I, you, even even lately, I've become more to the point of all the tricks I want to do, I'm just going to do them, and I'm going to put them out. And if I'm filming for my part, cool. There's a couple tricks I really want to do. Right. But I started noticing that just life is gone, dude. It flies. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Every, you guys know. Right? Oh, yeah. Shit's gone. I'm like, damn, if I'm not doing them today, then when am I actually going to do this? Right. If I'm doing it, if I'm not even trying it because I'm waiting to film it somewhere or go somewhere, when am I actually going to do When are you going to do it? Yeah. yeah. And then when you get injuries and you're like, fuck, dude, I should have just done that. Should have yeah. done it. Seriously. So definitely a result of watching older skaters and, and the younger ones and just trying to make sure that before time's out get it in yeah yeah and then how so april you just kind of came out with this a couple months ago right three four months ago maybe yeah it's been out for three months yeah we worked on it for nine or so months yep um i it could have been sooner and i could have had more footage i'm filming for something else okay i can't really it's a nike thing